Hey everybody, Anna here. I just got home from my primary care doctor. I had to do an EKG just as it's part of the protocol for propulsive. Whenever you start the medication or increase your dose, you have to have an EKG within a week. And then after that, every three months, you have to have an EKG and blood work. It's just part of the protocol and safety measures that they have to put in place for that. So I have that and that one's super easy. And now I have to go film a couple of videos really quick for Unique, for the new party script that I'm doing, which I'm really excited about. So I have to go do that. And can you tell? My lungs are not happy with this weather, but I am headed uh, to my SynCare appointment. It's the medication for my lungs and my asthma. So we'll be headed to the hospital for that a little bit later this afternoon in a couple hours. So hopefully that will help a little. Anything that helps at all, I'm very grateful for. Bye. We are on our way to the hospital to get the infusion for my asthma to help reduce inflammation in my lungs and it is insanely hot outside the humidity is like a thousand percent and that's super exciting and the traffic is crazy because construction is everywhere so we are gonna get to the hospital as soon as we can but hospital getting my sing care infusion and it helps reduce one of the blood cells that can increase lung inflammation so it's sort of a suppressive medication that has really helped so I'm really hoping that it gives a little bit of relief or benefit or helps a little bit to strengthen my lungs because of this humidity, which is crazy. And um, it's been causing heart rate, blood pressure issues, and I've been trying to drink and stay hydrated and go, I'm definitely gonna be going home and hooking up to my lactated ringer and making sure that I get fluids back in because we didn't have ringers this weekend they were the pharmacy was closed on Labor Day and all the shenanigans so I'm hooked up to making sure that my pulse is staying within um, a good limit and um, my IV and my feeding tube so I'm all hooked up to all kind of things but what else is new it is nighttime I've eaten I've rested I've rested I didn't take a nap needed a nap but it's weird it's like it's like you need to sleep but if you sleep at that moment then it's going to be the wrong time of the day you're going to wake up and then you're going to end up eating dinner at 11 o'clock at night but you guys know my sleep, my eating schedule is crazy anyway, but so I can't really fall asleep at like 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. Sometimes I do though, but anyway, I was just very, very exhausted after today making it to my primary care. It wasn't a big deal. Just went back in there and did an EKG and then they're just gonna fax it to my doctor at the Cleveland Clinic, and that's perfect, and then went home and had to um, film a couple of, of videos for um, my business and some parties that I'm gonna be running, and um, that's all through Facebook. So if you wanna find me on Facebook, I just say Facebook, I'm like, wait, I'm on Facebook, so you might want to find me. Um, the link is in the description. And then we went off to SingCare, and it took us 
forever and you would never heard of construction and Michigan roads crazy so it took us a long time and then we have to park and then I get the wheelchair out because I cannot walk through a hospital I can't walk long distances like that at all not even remotely um, with my cane so we use my wheelchair it's just a travel wheelchair it's it's perfect and so then we went to the infusion center and then as you guys saw um, we were having some weird issues with my blood pressure and my pulse so we were talking and going back and forth with one of the nurses and kind of came to the conclusion that it was a conglomeration of me being probably dehydrated, which I kind of knew that I was dehydrated. Um, I knew that I should be drinking more. It's hard to drink and get yourself hydrated when you have gastroparesis. It, you, like you can only fit so much food, you can only fit so much liquid. Um, especially when it's feeling yucky. So, and I didn't have lactated ringers for a couple days over the weekend because my brother's like, oh yeah, we just went pick some up from Costco. And I'm like, mom, you guys picked some up? Oh no, those were the saline syringes. He's confused, but it's fine. It all worked out. It's just because the weekend they don't, they have to order them in and then they don't get them on the weekend and they didn't get them on Labor Day. So I finally had them. I did one yesterday. I'm doing one right now. They gave me extra fluids there and just kept an eye on my on my pulse the whole time just to make sure everything was stable and it ended up coming down finally into the 90s because it was up it was up pretty high. Not crazy high, but like um, I didn't even do anything. I didn't even walk here or anything. So I was dehydrated and um, the heat with my lungs trying to breathe and my blood pressure just was low like it was really quite low especially for me uh, mine kind of goes up and down but this was low and then we took it again and I kind of changed positions and it was a little better but not that much and then she took it at the end and it was kind of like still around the same a little better but but that's fine um i can monitor i have lots of medical equipment here i have a blood pressure cuff and i have the little thing you stick on your finger you know the fancy it's like the pulse ox thing but it has your heart rate as well I need to get new batteries for mine so i'm going to be checking that more because i I used to have a really bad problem with that in years past. Suffice to say, we got things figured out. I'm back. I'm doing more IV fluids. That's the best way for me. And we're also thinking that that could be part of the reason, part of the reason that I haven't really been able to go to the bathroom, especially like over the weekend. In the past couple days, I've gone a little is because I'm just dehydrated <clears throat> and we're just getting used to the way this propulsive works on the body um, so maybe I'll have something awesome to report tomorrow who knows tomorrow is a day of going nowhere I love those days but once again I cannot stop for a reprieve because it is September, and September I am pushing myself in my business, and I am, um, it's exhausting me, but it's making me feel so accomplished and feel like just, I love what I do, and so it's just making me feel really like, yeah, this is why I do this. All right, so I actually, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna film another video, um, a really quick one about taking off um, my makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna take off my makeup during the video, so it's basically just like a, here we go, folks. I'm taking off my makeup anyways. And so I'm gonna say good night and 
please subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate that and I would love for you to stick around and see more of these videos. I hope that they are interesting or that you find them hilarious and you can laugh at me or you just watch because you're beyond bored. I have no idea, but I'd love for you to stick around and watch and subscribe and all the wonderful things. And thank you for those of you that, are, that have watched all the way through to the end of my rambling spiel. <laughs> so good night. Goodbye. I will see you super soon. Bye.